Welcome to the Drupal Academy. In this tutorial, we are going to explore a common scenario in a web development that is how to fetch and use query parameters in a Drupal forms. Query parameters can be a powerful tool for dynamic form behaviors and I will show you different ways to get query parameters step by step. So let's get started. First, you need to have a form in your Drupal module. I have already created this custom module employee and in that employee module, I have this employee form which looks like this. Now, I will show you how to get the query parameter value in this form. So, for that, I will add one field. In that field, we will display the parameter which we will pass from the URL. So, we will change that element name to param underscore value. Type will be text field. Title will be query parameters. And in the default value, we will set the value which we will get from the URL. So for now, we will keep this as a blank. In your form class, you can access query parameters through the current request object. So here is how you can do it. So for that, first declare one variable query underscore parameter equal to Drupal colon colon request on next line we will declare one more variable that is query value and in that variable we will store the value of the query parameters so syntax for that is this query underscore parameter after that get and name of the your query parameter so we will set the query parameter name as the id now we will show this query parameter value in the text field which we have created before that i will show you that text field right now it is empty if i pass any id equal to 45 it is empty now we will set that variable in this default value now again go to the form and pass this id equal to 50 and refresh it again so now here we are getting the query parameter value in the form this is the one way to get the query parameter value in a form the second way is add the symphony request component like this symphony component and the http foundation and request class after adding this class in the build form functions parameter create the object of that class request class request dollar request equal to null now we will access that query parameters in the same variable dollar query value equal to dollar request query and get and the name of the parameter id so i will comment these lines Again go to the form and it should show the query parameter value in this field. I uh, will pass the different value. It's 51. So here we are getting the 51. In this two way we can access the query parameters in a form. With the query parameters uh, you can now use them to customize your form based on the dynamic values that's it from this video you have learned how to fetch and use query parameters in a form in a drupal this technique can make your forms more dynamic and user friendly 
If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow Drupal developers and don't forget to subscribe for more Drupal tips and tricks. Thank you for watching.